Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install and set up MinGW on your Windows operating system. Now, first of all, what is MinGW? So MinGW is an open source development environment for creating native Windows application. It also provides the compiler for compiling the programming languages such as C and C++. So let's see how we can install MinGW on our Windows operating system. So for that, first of all, open your favorite browser and search for MinGW and you will see the top link here, which will be from sourceforge.net. Just click on this link, which is in the top results. I'm going to put this link in the description of this video also so that you can directly uh, reach to this link. Now, if you see, it has around 3.5 million uh, downloads this week. So we are also going to download this file. So I'm going to click on this uh, download button, which is going to uh, redirect me to the page where it's going to start the download of this file. So you can see this mingw get setup.exe has been downloaded. So once this file is downloaded, just click on this file and then I'm going to minimize the browser. So this is the MinGW installation manager setup tool. So in here, you just need to click on the install button and then you can verify where MinGW will be installed in your folder system on your Windows operating system. This is the location. So the default location is C colon MinGW. If you want to change the location, you can click on the change uh, button and change the directory in which you want to install MinGW. Now you also have user interface options here. So I'm going to leave everything as default and then click on continue, which is going to start the download of all the files which are related to MinGW. So here you just need to wait for a few seconds until those uh, files are downloaded. And once that process is finished, you will see that this uh, continue button will be active, right? So just click on this continue button now and you will see this kind of installation manager for your MinGW. And then you will see this kind of window. Here you have the basic setup and you will also see all the packages. So for now I want to install MinGW for the compilation process of my C and C++ programs. So I'm going to go with the basic setup here. And then I'm going to select all these options from here. So just right click on these options or click on these options and then click on mark for installation. Do the same for all the options which are given here. So just give mark for installation, mark for installation, mark for installation for all these options here, right? So once you have checked all these options, you're going to click on installation and then click on apply changes and then click on apply here, which is going to connect to internet and download all these packages. So just wait for a few seconds until those packages are downloaded. So after some time, you will see uh, this message which says all changes were applied successfully. So we can close this window. So I'm going to close this window. And once you close this window, you will see that all the check boxes are now green and checked. So all of these packages are installed successfully. So once all of these packages are installed successfully, let me minimize this uh, window here. And then I'm going to go to my folder explorer. And then let me go to my C folder here. You will see there will be a directory called mingw in your C folder. And when you go inside this uh, C folder, you will see all the files which are related to your mingw compiler. So once that's done, we can close this uh, window here. And now let's verify if everything is working perfectly with mingw or not. So first of all, let's go to the location where mingw is installed. So I'm going to just open my file explorer and then go to my C directory. And here you can see uh, we have installed mingw in our C directory. So this directory will be available. So go inside this and you will see all the files and folders which are related to mingw. 
Now the main folder here is the bin folder where all the binary files related to your compilers are available. So the GCC will be used for compiling your C programs and G++ will be used for compiling your C++ programs. Now in the next step, we are going to set the environment variable for this directory so that we can use this command from our command prompt. So this path is C colon backslash min GW backslash bin, right? So you need to copy the bin path of min GW. So just uh, copy this path and then minimize this window and here search for environment variable. Okay, so just search for environment variable and when you type few letters of environment which says edit the system environment variable click on this option and it's going to open this kind of window so here click on environment variables and then under system variables click on path and then click on ok and then you need to add this path which we have copied for the min gw in this uh, list so just go at the very bottom and then double click here and then paste the path and then press enter which uh, will add this path for the bin directory of min gw in your environment variables click on ok once again click on ok and then once again click on ok once that's done we can verify the g++ and gcc version by opening the command prompt so just type cmd in the search box and then open command prompt and here type gcc space hyphen hyphen version and then press enter and it's going to show you the version of gcc which is 6.3.0 and then similarly we can type g plus plus space hyphen hyphen version and then press enter and it's going to show us the g plus plus version now we can also compile our c and c plus plus programs uh, using uh, this g plus plus and gcc commands right so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to just uh, go to any folder of my choice so, so let me go to my documents folder and then in the test folder i'm going to create a c file and the c plus plus file and compile it using those two commands now you can use uh, ides or editors like visual studio code or uh, any other ide of your choice to compile your C or C++ code on your Windows operating system. But for now, I want to show you very basics how you can compile your C++ or C programs using the command line. So I'm not going to use those fancy tools. So to create a C file, right click here and then click on show more options. And here click on new and then you can create a text document here. So click on text document and then give any name to your uh, file. I'm going to name it as hello. You will also see the extension .txt. So I'm going to change this extension to .c, which will create a C file. And then it says, if you want to change the file extension, the file might become unusable. That's okay for us. And you can see the C file is created, right? So right click on this uh, hello.c file and then click on open with and we are going to open it with uh, the default editor, which comes uh, with your Windows operating system, which is Notepad. You can also open it with your Visual Studio Code, but for now, I just want to show you the very basics, right? So I'm not using any fancy tools here. Right here, I'm going to open this C file. And here I'm going to just paste a very simple Hello World C program. You can find it anywhere on internet, so I'm not going to uh, show you how to write that program. Once you have the program, just save this file and then just close this window here. Now I'm going to open the command prompt, so just search for CMD and then open the command prompt. And here I'm going to copy this path and then I'm going to CD into this part. So I'm going to just write CD and then paste this uh, path which I have copied and then press enter. And now I'm in that directory, right? Now in order to compile this hello.c file, which is available inside uh, your uh, uh, test folder, let me give this dir folder and you can see hello.c file is available. To compile this, just write gcc space hyphen 
O and your uh, binary name. I'm going to name my binary as hello and then your C file name which is hello.c in my case and then press enter. It's going to compile your code and then it's going to create this uh, binary or hello.exe file. Let me do this side by side so you can see this in action, right? Let me delete this .exe file and give the same command again. And once I give the same command, you will see this .exe file is generated, right? That means uh, we have successfully compiled our code and to run our code, just write dot forward slash and the name of your exe file, which is hello.exe. You can also just write hello.exe here and then press enter and it's going to print the hello world output here. So this is the output of our C program, right? Similarly, you can um, create a C++ file. To create a C++ file, right click here and then click on show more option and then click on new. Once again, similar option, text document. And in this case, I'm going to name my file as test.cpp. So cpp is the extension for the C++ file. And then click on yes here. And once again, open this file with uh, the notepad and then paste the C++ code. And once you pasted the C++ code, save the file. And then to compile this uh, file, which is test.cpp, I'm going to just write G++ because it's a C++ program, right? Space hyphen O. Hyphen O is the option for generating your binary file. So giving your binary file name. In this case, I'm going to give my exe file name as test. Whatever file name you will give here, it will provide the same uh, exe file name right so in this case i'm going to uh, create the test.exe file and then my test cpp file name is test.cpp give this command press enter and it's going to create the test.exe which is the compilation output of our c++ file so now i'm going to just write test dot exe and then press enter and it's going to print hello world once again which is the output of our c++ program so this is how you can install min gw and use the g++ and gcc command to compile your c and c++ code i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video